Hello guys, this is Mama Saji Dasan here and in this video today we will talk about how you can make a URL hash navigation slider. So what is the URL hash navigation slider? In this tutorial I'll show you guys. So before that I just show you a demo of the URL hash navigation slider. Is that just uh, it looks like and here is the sliders are whenever you just uh, go to the three it will comes like the three. Uh, whenever you click on the five it takes the five whenever you click on the ten it takes the ten here so uh, whenever you click on the zero it takes you the in the zero how you can make a slider for your website in this tutorial i'll show you before that i just request you guys that if you are not already a subscriber in my channel so hit the subscribe button and if you already are subscriber so thanks you a lot stay tuned with me guys i'll come back after the intro So first of all what we have to do is that just uh, go to here in this website and just click on the download to download the source file of this uh, slider here from here just uh, and after that you will get a file like that uh, here it is the file and it's a zip file and you need to just extract it here and after extracting it you will get something uh, like that a folder and just open the folder from here just click on the folder and open it and just go to that disk of this folder and from here you can get a jquery file of owl.carousel.min.js and you need to just take the grab this in your folder where you uh, want to make your jquery here your slider here and here is our owl.carousel.min.js in our folder where we will start our work and then we need another folder desk go to the desk and just uh, go to the asset from here and we need from here two important file is our carousel.min.css and the owl.theme.default.css and now just uh, grab this from here and take it here and i've already take it here and you need another two file is that jquery.min.js is the library file of jquery and here is the another file is the jquery.js and here we will you know, keep our customized jquery file and you can rename it but here it is this is the library file and your jquery will not work without this library file and you can download it from the jquery.com now start the work for that first of all after just downloading it you need to just go to the demo from here and just go to the demo and click on the basic from here and from the basic slider we will make a slider from here and now just go to the bottom and take the html from here copy the html from here and paste it the html here and that's all and i just uh, cut some html from here and i just keep three html here and i just uh, make it some name here sajid hsan and i take another adjusting okay and guys that's all and our task is done almost so what you have to do is that now we will grab the js for my work so just go to here and go to that demo again and from the demo go to the url hash navigation and from the url hash navigation we need to just uh, grab the jquery from here click on the jquery and just go to the jquery.js where we will keep our jquery codes here and here it is and it's working here but guys they have a lot of work is uh, some work is not abandoned so here is the three item is okay here but because they just show item four but we will make one item here so that it will come one by one every in every page it is it will come every time and now we need to just go to here and uh, stylus our these items so just go to the item item or we will just take it here the item copy it and stylus the every item here and the height h-i-g-h-t height will be uh, 400 pixels and the background will be I'm sorry background B S C K G R O U N D background will be green okay and our the item under this item there are h4 i just make the h4 the font size will be um 50 pixels from here and the color is c o l o r color is f f f okay so just press it here okay and this all are here and we will add our navigation bar here like that uh, just go to here 
and take a div grab the div name is menu slider okay and under this we will take 3a that is the anchor tag 3 anchor tag for here I just make that anchor tag name is the Sajid and the Hassan and it looks like he are saying and you can guys take here anything and our uh, navigation bar is here and you can also just uh, customize this navigation bar here just copy it and just uh, I just uh, customize the navigation bar uh, uh, according to my own I just make it the border border will be five pixels here solid it's rate okay uh, font size we can make a font size of uh, 25 uh, sorry uh, 10 uh, sorry 20 pixels here and the color will be uh, what is the color it color will be make the make it the color is white and the background will be take the back make the background 000, zero, zero that means the black and that's all I don't need to make anything more so here it is these are the blacks are here and these are okay here but it doesn't work here because I have to add something here in this as hash uh, so just go to in the website of this our carousel your hash navigation you will get a thing is that your hash listener option is listener for your hash change and it looks for a slider with the same data name example data has zero so that means that in the uh, in the every item here in this div data hash that means that you need to add a data hash d a t a h a s h hash you need to add a hash uh, and just name here anything i name here uh as a g i d sajid and just copy them here and just paste it here in every section here just paste it here in every section I just make it the Yasin by S S I N Yasin H S A N and the subject this it's okay the hash listener these are the hash listener and whenever I just click on the subject it will take me in the subject whenever I click on the Hassan it will take me in the Hassan slider and whenever I click on the Yasin it will take me in the Yasin slider so now uh, is the Sajid and is the Hassan and here is the Yasin. Whenever I uh, saw so that, just copy this and just take it in the uh, uh, in this href and give a hash sign and take it here. The name of the hash listener here. Uh, copy it and just take it here in the give a hash and here it is and take it here. Copy it and take it here in the hash. Y. Okay, and that's all and just refresh it and you can see the effect whenever you guys take it here it's take here whenever you just take it here in the Hassan it takes in the Hassan whenever you takes in the Yasin it takes you in the Yasin whenever you take it Sajid it takes a uh, click on the Sajid it take in the Sajid whenever I click on the Yasin it take you in the Yasin and now I just show you that how it works uh, if you just take the x here just to cut it from here so whenever i you click on the hassan it will take in the yasin because i give the hashtag hash listener yasin here so it and the hash listener of yasin is in the yasin and so that's all and you can also add Im any type of image icon here also so that's all from me and i hope that guys you all guys understand this listener quite well so that's it from me and if you guys like this video so give a thumbs up under this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you goodbye see you soon have a nice day